a note on the trip back and fairy tale um, by Robert Olin Butler a winner of the Pulitzer Prize two short stories the first one um, has an old man an old Vietnamese taking the trip back is taking this trip back in time in his mind his imagination he's waited at the airport by a younger uh, husband of his granddaughter and uh, he's fascinated by what he sees at the airport the, uh, the police academy is training with a drum and people marching and doing good steps and whatever behind so we have a, a musical background for our note. Um, but he's not thrilled, the old Vietnamese is not thrilled with the car this young man has, which is not a Citroën and is not uh, one of his uh, marks, his, uh, the makes he loves. He remembers on the way home about um, long journeys, trips he took from Han Hanoi to Saigon. Um, he, it's about 14,000, no, sorry, 1,400 mile, miles or kilometers from one to the other. He would stop at the beach, uh, they would get uh, rabbits in the headlights and eat, and uh, he, remembers, he remembers so much about that. But he doesn't remember having a granddaughter. That's a problem, an issue. And this girl, uh, this woman, when she was a girl, was um, taken on the back by this man who played also the father for her because the uh, father died. And now her husband, at a certain point, takes her on his back and moves her around to console her. The second story has a woman in the center and uh, she used to be a bar girl in Saigon. We keep hearing bar, but I keep hearing bar girl mm, uh, and until halfway into the tale I didn't know what that is. Um, I will let you think about it for a while, what this can be. Um, in Saigon, she would go out with GIs who would give her apples. They didn't have, they have all kinds of um, mango, papaya in, uh, in South Vietnam, but they don't have apples. So the apples, they would take them from the mess. And, yeah, and the GIs, the American soldiers, would give her. Um, she meets a man who works for the American Embassy, who wants to take her back to the U.S. And that happens, but alas, they don't get along. She says he changed, but in all honesty, she thinks I must have changed too indeed so not liking him anymore she has to move away goes away from him uh, an important aspect here i thought this uh, woman in a strange way if not pure and all innocent she's going out with many men let's note that but despite uh, having this continuous relationship uh, with men um, so many of them she's still um, naive somehow she's still uh, genuine she's still the real she, she managed to keep her spirit affected but intact in so many ways she's you you are you are either pure or impure, but 
knowing this still i would say she is in some important degree pure making a uh, an outrageous uh, statement from uh, point, the point of view of speaking correctly but that's the feeling she gives me she's uh, still kept uh, julia roberts if you will and pretty woman that over there is a cold girl, but she gives this uh, impression of being such a... She marries a nice preacher gear, Indian. Um, she moves to uh, New Orleans, and she becomes a bar girl again. She's dancing naked and goes again with men. She has a statue in her room of Mary, not Mary Magdalene, but Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary Magdalene, who was a bar girl, I suppose. This is when I got the translation, if you will. Bar girl means prostitute in this uh, a woman's um, um, book. Um, vocabulary. She meets a man who has a long nose, also a very long neck. And he's um, strange, different from the others. She doesn't, for instance, speaks about Vietnam and the fact that he uh, felt happy there. He loved it. As opposed to others who speak about Nam. When they speak about Vietnam, they, they say Nam. I've been to Nam. What happens, I will not say. I will let you read and enjoy uh, the story without any hopefully any uh, spoiling effect from me from the snuff.